Let's now create our crosslink. But first, I'm going to rename our base rectangle to plate as it is indicated in our 2D drawing. So we're naming this one as plate, hitting enter. And going back to our main file once more, right click and select new component. Now a quick tip, whenever you have the intention of making a revision or edit to your other parts, you should always select and activate the component. So from here, I can see this one as activated. I can now go back and edit my sketch. So once more, that is a quick tip. So going back to our new component, activating this one and renaming this one to be cross link, hitting enter. Now in addition, I'd like my cross link to be isolated to prevent plate from distracting my scene. So I'm going to right click cross link and select isolate. Next, I'm going to expand this triangle and turn on our origins. Now the purpose of turning this origin is we wanted to make sure that whenever we create a sketch is that we are creating on the origin planes or axis of our cross link. So be aware that whenever you are sketching, you may be sketching on this other planes. So that is a very good practice to always make sure that you isolate and you turn on your planes. Now moving forward, we're going to hit L to grab our line tool and selecting our XY plane. I'm going to create our slot here. So left click here and hold my left mouse button to create an arc release. Holding my left mouse button to create an arc and connect this one to the end point of our horizontal line. Release. Hitting escape. Let's now hit D to grab our dimension. Selecting our center point and the center point. Drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 80. Hitting enter. Next, selecting this arc. Drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 10. Hitting enter. Hitting escape. Hitting C to grab our circle. Creating our circle here. Diameter for this one is 10. Hitting enter. Hitting C once more. Creating another circle. Left click. Hitting escape. Selecting the circle. And the circle. Right click and select equal. Next, let's create a construction line to position this one at the middle with respect to our origin, hitting L. Left click here and left click at the center point, hitting escape, selecting this horizontal line and hitting X, making this as a construction line, selecting our horizontal line and our origin, right click and select midpoint. So this is now fully constrained. I can now hit E for extrude and selecting this profile. Direction once more to be symmetric. And measurement to be whole length. Now the thickness to be 10. And finally hitting OK. Going back to our origin and turning off its visibility and turning off the visibility of our origin as well. Going back to home view. Congratulations for creating our second part and see you in the next lesson.